hello. Um, I just wanted to talk with you briefly. I'm going to try to keep this video very short, but I titled it, My Name is Jesus. Got a couple scriptures, Matthew 20 and Matthew 22. But early, I already got my reward, guys, so it's nothing to do with me. Your prayer time could be whenever. My, <clears throat> lately, mine has been between 2 and 4 in the morning. Two, not so good. Four is awesome because I can start the day and pretty much roll into it after two or three or how many ever hours of prayer or whatever the Lord's dealing with me about. Great. But so early in the morning. The Lord spoke to me. And he said, My name is Jesus. And at the sound of my voice, every knee will bow and every tongue confess. And it was real loud, guys. Almost like he wanted to yell it, but he wasn't yelling. But it was just loud. Or that's what was portrayed to me. The seriousness of it. Because, guys, it's kind of like... I mean, honestly, out of the world, taken out of the world, whitewashed, to put it bluntly, out of most churches. Not doing it for the sensationalism and the Hollywood Christianity is what I call it, and the claim to fame stuff. Time to get away from that, guys. There's nothing wrong with questioning what people are saying. Because it's it's who's your source? Where are you getting this from? That's why the that's why the the prayer that Jesus wants us to pray, the Our Father prayer, he wants it in a secret place, guys. There's nothing wrong with being part of a church. But if you're not getting it, if you're not on fire in that secret place. Then when we gather together, suddenly that fire becomes a forest fire. But many of us are just bringing burnt embers, barely smoking a little bit. We want that, like I said, that Hollywood Christianity, that Hollywood Christianity, Burger King Christianity. You want it 45 minutes, I want my way in and out, and that's it. Go to, if we're, we, our claim to fame as being such a free country, well, Go down to the courthouse, pick one, anywhere. Talk about God. You'll probably be okay. Maybe, maybe not. Talk about Jesus. You probably won't even last five minutes, let alone 20. You'll have some sheriff or cop coming up to you and running you off because you offended somebody. Or do it at your public school. Or do it at a mall, even. God, yeah, you'll probably be okay. Jesus, no. We're all looking for that secret formula recipe, the KFC. I got a secret recipe. I know the recipe to KFC and you don't. Where are you getting your information from, guys? Because it should be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Don't even listen to me. I'm not trying to, I'm just directional and question that too, even. I'm not, take it to God. Take it to Jesus. Take it to the Holy Ghost. Take it to, through His Word. Nothing wrong with that, guys. That's what He wants you to do. Simplify is simple. The gospel's pretty simple. Yeah, there's a lot of other things that can that are that are, that are part of it. The wisdom from above. There's there's a lot to it, guys. I get that. But God's plan was Jesus, His Son. Christ in you, the hope of glory. So anyhow, I'm going to kind of shorten it down and, and end it with that. Just look at, you know, got a book out there now. It has nothing to do with a book. I'm not, of course, could I use millions? Absolutely. But that's not where I'm headed to. You know, I'm not trying to be, be that. It's not me. I'll give it to you for free if you want. If you can't afford it, it's on Amazon. It's called Christ in you, the hope of glory. And... One of the things in there is where his choice to be his voice. And recently, 
I'm going to make this 10 minutes. Um, and recently he said, for his choice to be his voice and his feet. He said, do a study on his feet. I started that. I haven't got all the way there yet, guys. It's still a little raw. Revelations 1, I think it's 15. His feet were as a brass in a refiner's fire, and his voice was as the sound of many waters. So there's more to it than that. Free, it's on Amazon. Amazon's not free, but it's on Kindle. I got an email version of it. Just send me your email. Um, if you want, got a problem with paying for it, you know, I'm giving them away, guys, right now, kind of, almost, you know, it's like, man, okay, I just want to get it out there. Nothing to do with me, but everything to do with him. So, my name is Jesus, and at the sound of my name, every knee will bow, every tongue confess. And then, get this down in eight minutes, and then I'll tell the last little bit. This morning was grace, mercy, and truth. Grace, I'm not done with this yet, guys. I'm just kind of throwing out there as a provocation, maybe even, you know, just dig, find it. I've been guilty of this too. Not of reading the word or not just taking it to fit what I need. But the Holy Ghost was his grace. His mercy was life eternal through his son. The mercy of mankind. The truth was Jesus. And the way, the truth, and the life, no man comes to the Father except through me. So, I'm just going to throw that out there. Then, read Habakkuk 2. Because I got this now on Instagram and other things, but long story. But this book that I wrote, Christ Knew the Hope of Glory, last year in October, he gave it to me. Took off with this scripture. He said, Go to Habakkuk 2. I did. Find the vision, write it down, and make it plain. Well, there's a couple pieces, a few words right after that. And I was like, Man, I took off with that and ran and didn't even read it all. Till a year, a year and a half later, till a couple, couple, a couple months ago. It's a long story. Some of it's on Instagram. Look at that. But I'll tell you how to get to all these in a second. So it's like, okay, great, awesome. I'm writing a book. The Lord gave me this. Blah, da, 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 da. I'm, I'm off on a mission. Fast forward it. Now it's out. It's still in the raw. I'm still proofing it, but you can still get it. So I only got it for seven bucks out there because there's still some things that are, have to be added to it, but some things transpired and I needed it, needed some help with, from the Lord. He said, go back to Habakkuk 2. So I did. Read it. I was two days away from doing this, guys. My wife and I talked about it. I needed a tablet. My computer crashed. I was using a Computer of 2008. This one's back up and running through prayer. Three technicians that I sent it into, and plus the manufacturer all told me it's tried toast, never to be seen again. Yeah, we'll fix it. 720 bucks. I'm like, yeah, right. I paid 400 dollars for the computer. Okay, fine, great. That's a that's a good deal. But anyhow, here I am, on it, on the camera. It works fine. I pray a lot about it, though, guys. It's a long story. But anyhow, so the Habakkuk 2, back to that. Needed a tablet. I'm using a computer from 2008. The Lord's telling me to write more books. Told my wife, we need to get a tablet. The Lord said, go back to Habakkuk 2. Find the vision, write it down, make it plain, and put it on tablets. Guys, I got a tablet now that I use the Melanite latest and greatest technology and it's pretty awesome i can talk into it i don't even have to type i can i got hundreds of pages probably 50 story storylines not storylines but what he's giving me i know where it's at and now i can start to kind of put it together but anyhow long to but it's like i didn't read it so read those with matthew 20 and really read them 
that's all about the equality and how we're all the same. And you could be a doorkeeper or you could be the senior pastor that's been saved 150 years with a million people in your church. Guess what, guys? Same. Same. The secret sauce is right there in front of us. If he gives you something, it's not a revelation that you can lord and hoard and glorify over people to get it out there, guys, to share it. So, Matthew 22, read that with some depth because it's, it's a good message, but when you really read it, you realize it's not a warm, fuzzy feeling message. He made light of it. Threw in on that part. I didn't. I heard it for 38 years and just Six months ago, I started, I was like, wow. So that's where I'm going with that. But anyhow, there's way too much. Don't want to take up all your time, guys. Look at some of my other messages. Share these videos on YouTube. Um, but you can reach us at Jesus is Alive in America at gmail.com or look up Jesus is Alive in America on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. And I've got a Wix site now. It's all tied together, sort of. I hope that I have a blog page on there. The Lord told me to do all that, guys, and I'm going to end with this. It was just the obedience. He like, told me to build a website. I'm like, I'm going to kind of throw, my, throw myself out there a little bit. I don't even text people, guys, because for some reason it just doesn't, doesn't correlate and click. I do, but... Very rarely, it just, it's, it just, and it, I'm probably the only one in America that doesn't, maybe. I don't know. That stuff just doesn't, the computer stuff just does not click. So, yeah, I could use some IT help really badly. Um, but, anyhow, just look us up. Blog with us. Email me. Um, I want to hear from you guys. That's why I set up this blog page because I want to be his. I want you to be his voice. That's very important. So anyhow, you can learn more about us, and then plus we do. Right now we're with the, dealing with the broken heart. I'm gonna, I am going to end this uh, at a homeless shelter, but there's more to it than that. But just you know, look at some of my messages, guys. And it's not me. And like I said I'm you know the Hollywood Christian sensationalism has got to stop. And go back to the basics of the gospel. Jesus. God's plan for mankind. The salvation of mankind. Anyhow, love you. Um, look at some of the other ones. You'll, you'll really see what I'm, where I'm getting to with this. It'll make some sense. But what God's showing you is of the utmost importance too, guys. Whether it's in dreams, visions, scriptures, uh, prayer, you know. We all have a mantle to carry. That was what I was saying about the doorkeeper or the senior pastor. We all, and it's all the same. It's just as important. There's no great or small, big or little. We put that in there. Just tune in. Um, I'll throw this out there, guys, but it, this is real raw. Go read Genesis 1, 26 and 27, and I'll leave it at that. I'll let you guys discern that one. It's also about equality. So anyhow, we love you guys. Um, like I said, just, you know, you can email us. Uh, you know, that would be the best way to get a hold of us. If you want to get all us directly at Jesus, is alive in America at gmail.com. Or look us up on any of them to do with me guys and everything to do with you i sure want to hear from you bless y'all have a great awesome day